In this Pinocchio AI tutorial, for beginners, we're going to show you how to install the AI browser. As you can see, we're on the Pinocchio homepage where it reads, install, run and control AI apps, terminal apps, bots, anything on your computer with one click. You can find this webpage by searching Pinocchio into Google. And at the top of the search results, you should see Pinocchio.computer. This is the page you need to be on to get started. And this will take you right here. Now we're going to select download. I'm going to take you through step by step. Let's select download in the center of the screen. So we're downloading from the main home page of Pinocchio here. It then takes you to this page where you are given a few new options. Depending on what operating system you are using, you would select accordingly. You can see you have Windows, Macs, and Linux systems. Because I'm currently using a Mac, I'm going to select number two, the Mac option. Do keep in mind, you can have a look at the other installation processes, even if you're not currently using that. So I also have a Windows operating system and I can have a look through how to install it right here. I would need to unzip a zipped file in order to install the program. Now on Mac, this is going to be slightly different. And of course, Linux will be different to that. And you can see the Linux options right here. I'm going to be using a Mac in this tutorial. But when we get into that browser, you are going to see how we are going to install those AI tools. So you're going to get a full overview here. Here it says download for M1, M2 or M3 Mac, or alternatively, download for Intel Mac. Now I know I'm using an Intel Mac, but if you don't have this information, you can find it just to make things fairly simple for you if you're unsure of what type of Mac operating system you are running. So I'm going to close the browser out to show you that right now for those Mac users out there. If I press the Apple button in the top of the tab right here, I can then select about this Mac. This will give you all of the information you need to know about your Mac in regards to the graphics. And that is what it's actually letting you know in that installation process. That's what it's regarding. It's talking about the Intel graphics card. We're not using an M1 Mac. That is a fairly new type of Mac model system. We're using the Intel Mac and you can see it right here. It's a 2014 model. So going back into the installation, I now know which one I should select because I'm on Mac using an Intel type of Mac because I have an Intel graphics card. And that's the way you can find out. You can, I can then download this by selecting this button, but there's also some more important information to read. You can see step two says install, and this is important. <laughs> After downloading the DMG files, which we've just downloaded, you must make a patch as shown below. So you run the downloaded DNG installer file, then you must drag the Pinocchio app to the applications folder. So once you've installed by selecting the file, which we're about to do, you then need to drag the Pinocchio app file into the applications folder. Now this will look slightly different depending on what operating system you're using. On Mac, you have a variety of operating systems for, you, for different types of Macs. For example, you have Sierra is one of them, if I'm not mistaken, and there are other ones as well. Catalina being another, well, I call it Catalina. And you get these updates much like how you get your iOS updates. Once you've done this, you then have to run patch command. And that is a prompt that you need to enter into your Mac. I'll show you how to do this as well. After this, you open the Pinocchio app in the applications folder. So you have to do all of these stages before you open the app, otherwise it won't work correctly. So let's do stage one, which is to download the DMG install files. We've just done that already. I then need to drag the DMG files into the applications folder. So let's first show you the files. So it's going to be in my downloads, but it's also right here in the top right hand corner. There's a download section because I'm using Google Chrome. So if I press this, I can then see my download files. You can see it's 110 megabytes. Let's select this right now. So I'm going to open the file place where it is, and then I'm going to select the DMG file. This will begin to install the files, but I should get a desktop icon which I should then drag into the applications folder. Here it is right here. This is where things can get fairly confusing, but don't worry, I'm here to help. So the first thing you need to do is drag Pinocchio into the applications folder. Now I've already done this previously because I was testing a few things out. So I'm gonna select replace in this case. 
operation cannot be completed because Pinocchio is in use. So I need to close Pinocchio to begin with because I already have it open, but I need to take you through this process. So let's try this again. I'm going to drag Pinocchio into the applications folder. I'm going to replace the previous Pinocchio file because I've already done this beforehand. So I've just replaced Pinocchio. So it's a brand new version. You'll be at this stage. Next, you need to right click the patch command and select open. This is the patch command file right here. When you right click, it won't do anything. On Mac, you need to hold control and then right click. So you get this window. You then have the option to open, select open. You would then be given a terminal window with a command prompt. But before that, you have this message, a warning message. Mac OS cannot verify developer of patch command. Are you sure you want to open it? As you know, if you're a Mac user, these security precautions are in place to protect your data. By opening this app, you will be overriding system security, which can expose your computer and personal information to malware that may harm your Mac or compromise your privacy. If you're unsure, you can always double check the source where you're downloading, downloading your files from. In this case, it's Pinocchio. Double check if you're unsure before you continue. At this step, I'm already sure of what I'm doing and where the files come from. So I'm going to select open. You can see you're now given this window. As of 2024, there are more security precautions in place. What you need to do, as you can see, I need to enter my password. When you're doing this through the sudo, you won't see your password being entered at all. This is another security precaution in place by Mac. So what you need to do is type your password as if you're entering it. You won't see any input on screen at all. Let's do this now, making sure you're entering your password as is. Once you've entered your password, hit enter. You've successfully completed the process. Now that would be fairly jarring for a beginner because you won't know if you're entering your password at all. We've successfully done this. Now I'm going to attempt to open Pinocchio as the process has been completed. Remember, enter your password as normal. Don't worry if you don't see anything in the terminal window. That's done purposely for security. So now I'm gonna go into Launchpad I'm going to find Pinocchio and I'm going to open it. Pinocchio is right here. Let's open Pinocchio now. This should open the browser. If for whatever reason this does not happen, I'll take you into an additional step that you might need to take if you're opening Pinocchio for the first time. First, let's see if our browser opens. Brilliant. Our new AI browser is now open and installed. But if you don't get to this step, there's one more thing you need to do on Mac. Go into your system preferences. You might already have a notification on screen that says that it wants to move Pinocchio into your bin. Close that notification and then you want to be right here in this window where you will have the application pop up right here after you've closed that message. The message that's telling you to move Pinocchio to the bin, press cancel. And then once you've done that right here, Pinocchio should appear. You can see there's a lock mechanism right here that's open. You can open and close this lock mechanism. If you're the administrator on your Mac, you'll be able to type in your password to open this up. I'm going to do this right now. And now I have full permissions in my security and privacy of my Mac. You will then be given the option to open anyway. So the application will say right here, Pinocchio browser, and then you can open it anyway by selecting the open anyway button prompt. Once you're completed, you then close this, go back to the launch pad as if opening it for the first time and then open Pinocchio successfully. It will then bring you to this step. I needed to take you through that because I've already done it beforehand. So this is where you'll be with your browser ready to download your AI tools. So if you want to install your AI tools, there are a few ways you can go about this inside of the browser. For example, if we select visit discover page, you can find AI tools from the main verified browsers. So these are the biggest publishers inside of the browser that you can install from straight away. And you can select one that you want to install, making sure you have those minimum requirements and minimum system requirements. You can find out more about the publisher by selecting this right here, which will take you to their website. And you can go to the GitHub for more information on the types of files that you will be installing. And then you select download when you're ready to use that AI tool. Alternatively, you can also go back into the discover page right here, go to download from URL, and then you have a few more options for downloading your application inside of the browser. If you know the Git repository URL for the Pinocchio script, enter it here. 
and you can enter those links accordingly and then select one click install with Pinocchio. Now, unfortunately, I am facing quite a few errors on my Mac system right now, so I cannot show you any further, but I've shown you how you can install your AI tools, where you can find them inside of the browser once you've installed it. You can also thumbs up this video for showing you how to install the Pinocchio browser on Mac as we've got past those few things that you will encounter that could confuse you along the way. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Mr. Money for more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.